DJ Paul explains why he didn't attend Gangsta Boo's funeral. One thing for sure and two things for certain. Talking about me ain't gonna do shit but make my ass get better. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? She's still alive. You know what I'm saying? Big Memphis is gonna keep representing her. Long live Lola. Big Memphis. Let's go! Let me explain something to you is out there who got something to say about me not coming to boo funeral. I paid for the funeral, ho. I'm on mother tour and even if I wasn't, I don't do funerals. The last time I was at a funeral, it wasn't nothing but a bunch of group was up in that mother. Bunch of just want to come up and talk to me and all this old. Boo know how much I loved her. She know how much, I know how much she loved me. I ain't got nothing to prove to none of you group is up in there. Cause it would be number about four or five motherfuckers in there if it wasn't for who I created. What I created. The teenage girl that I found. I'm the one who wrote Where the Dollars Had Hook. I'm the one who was writing and producing that shit. Yeah, she did her verses. She did some hooks. Jesus was doing beats, he was doing hooks. But I discovered her. I went to school with her, she went to school with me. Motherfucker, you just wouldn't be in that group of just running up behind her ass because of what I did, what I created. And all you motherfuckers got something to say about, oh, look at her coffee. Her mama want her to be cremated like the rest of their family. What the fuck are we gonna spend money on a expensive ass coffin for when she finna get cremated? So y'all shut the fuck up and go home, go back to y'all motherfucking hoes Bitch, wipe it up. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.